Welcome back, friends. We've got to tell you about a local nonprofit where since its start in 2014, over 9,000 cats have been adopted. <laughs> cat Snip, et cetera, is a nonprofit organization committed to reducing the free roaming cat population through trap, neuter, return, or TNR, and it's based in Goshen. So joining me now next to me, Nancy Atkins, the founder, and then we've got Vice President Missy McNeil joining us in studio. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Nancy, let's start with what does Cat Snip do for those who don't know? I just kind of did an explainer there. Did I do it right? You did great. Oh, thank you. Considering. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. No, uh, what's really neat, we're all volunteers. Mm -hmm. Our payment is uh, for each cat that gets spayed or neutered, mm -hmm. we change their lives, especially wow. the community cats that live outside. Their life changes. <laughs> I look so much for the better. There's no fighting. Yeah. I mean, you Kittens can tell. born. Yeah, what got you involved in this? Um, you got to do something when you retire. Yeah. <laughs> I play around, you know. You got to do something to keep you occupied. And, you and I'm busy cats. 24 hours a day. We do cats twice a week. Twice a week. Uh, we take them to our local shelter. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Right. It's okay. You don't have to To get them it. fixed. Yeah. Uh, they're twice a week. Wow. Yeah. And they're adorable, too. And these kittens have been rescued. So they are rescued. So you guys rescue them yourselves sometimes, or they're mm -hmm. turned in by some folks who rescue them as well? Yeah. Is that how yes. it usually goes? Yes. Wow. Tell me a little bit about, if you can, Missy, mm -hmm. uh, what, what the programs you guys offer, because it's more than just this, right? I mentioned something at the top there. It's called TNR? Yes. Yes. And that is basically we help the community with cats that are not friendly enough to be adopted. They're gotcha. used to living outdoors. They are gotcha. fearful of, of human interaction. Mm -hmm. So we work with community members. Uh, after we get calls, they say, hey, there's a lot of cats there that need help. Gotcha. So we will trap them. We will get them fixed. We'll hold on to them, make sure that they're good, and then we put them back okay. where they have feeders, people to give them food every day. They have shelters and somewhere to live, but they do not want to be adopted into a home. But this is a way to make sure that they don't continue to reproduce because there'll be no more kittens, gotcha. no more males fighting with big, huge battle wounds. Yeah, sure. um, Just giving everybody an easier life. Yeah, and it's obviously one thing that you talked about is the amount that we're seeing out there. Sometimes there yeah. are cats everywhere. Yes. And that's a way to get rid of that population yes. in a, a safe and humane way. Yes. Talk about the volunteers. Because that's what drives this this nonprofit for for ten years almost. Am I right yes, about that? Yes, absolutely. For ten years. Yeah. How did you get involved? Um, I've always loved cats, mm -hmm. and it's just something that this was a way to help. Wow. I wanted to be able to say yes, we can help you. And I met Nancy, and we just kind of hit it off. Yeah. And then she asked if I wanted to join their group, and I said I would love to. So I started more of the adoption side because when you're sometimes you do come across kittens sure. or friendly cats that would prefer an indoor life. Okay. So those are the ones I do a lot of work with and we find them safe indoor homes and yeah. like these three little kids here. Gotcha. And, and what, talk about the process. If a normal person wanted to come and say, hey, these cats need to be spayed or neutered. Mm -hmm. How long does that process take? Can you walk me through that if you can? Well, they'd call our cat snip number and then uh, we'll get them on a schedule to get them fixed. Okay. We do them twice a week. Okay. Unless there's an emergency, sure, gotcha. we have to get one in sooner. The shelter works with us. That's amazing. One thing, though, with, uh, with the community cats, if you get one of those, uh, they work with us sooner to get them in, and they also get ear tipped. Wow. Okay. Gotcha. That's important, obviously. Yes, ear tipped as uh, because that shows that they've been fixed, that they don't have to, gotcha. you know, put them out, open right. them up again. They also mm -hmm. get microchipped. Every cat that that's important. We get fixed as microchipped. We've mm -hmm. also did three and a half communities in Goshen, Indiana. Wow. Neighborhoods. We did the inside and outside cats. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. you we have to go back. And you got to be, and, and just hear me out, to be an organization that is driven, that is a nonprofit and driven on volunteers, mm -hmm. that's a lot of work. It is not easy. What do, you, yeah. what do you have to say to your volunteers who help you on an organization you help found? It? Oh, we appreciate them so much. Mm -hmm. We have awesome volunteers. Uh, we also got a lady that takes care of our barn program. We take cats from our local shelter mm -hmm. who don't like it gotcha. inside home. So we take those in there uh, for barns or businesses, whoever would like to go green and have a, a cat take care of the rodents. All they have to do is give them 
food and shelter. Now, uh, before we go, we got an event to talk about happening yeah. this yeah. weekend. What's that event all about? It is our Raise the Roof event. Okay. It's going to be this Saturday evening, 5.30 to 10, mm -hmm. at Docks Pavilion in Wakarusa. Okay. We are going to have, and basically, we have bought land. We're ready to build our own building. Wow. Up until this point, we've been working out of volunteers' homes, and we have outgrown that. We need our we need our own our own home. And that's so, where these proceeds are going. Yes, and every all of the proceeds from this event will go straight towards getting our new building up, where we will have a place for everybody to come, a place Aww. to come adopt kitties, a place to drop off the kitties that are going to be getting fixed. Um, it'll be kind of like a, a one-stop shop instead of going from different volunteers' Absolutely. homes to yeah. different volunteers' homes. Everything will be in one location. So we're going to have a live band, hors d'oeuvres, a silent auction, 50-50 raffle, bake sale. Wow. We're yeah. going to have we're gonna have a great, a great fun party, and we hope everyone can come and support us and we can get that building going. And adopt some of these cats, That's too. right, and That's adopt some of these cuties. Yeah. This is great. You, uh, you guys do a lot of work, and we appreciate you both. Thank and you. Say thank you for being here. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep the cats. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. We've got about 15 more. <laughs> These are some of the amazing pictures that we have just to show you guys of what they do every day. We're going to have everything on WNDU.com on ways you can be involved with Catsnip here, right here in our backyard. Uh -huh. It is so amazing what you guys do. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>